In a previous video, when I explained hashing and I said that hashing is a one-way function and that you can't use the hash to get the original data, a lot of people said I was incorrect. In this example, I've got a SHA-256 hashing tool. If I take some input data, such as my password, it gives me a 256-bit hash. If I change any part of the data, notice the hash changes, but it's always 256 bits. But I could also hash all the contents of this book. I could hash this and come up with 256 bits. A 256-bit hash is not going to give me all the information in this book. I've got a Kali Linux ISO. I could hash that file. This 256-bit hash isn't going to allow me to get the original ISO. What you can do is, let's say your password is my password. Here's the hash. If I have your hash and then generate my own hash and find that two hashes match, I can get your original password. But I didn't reverse the hash. I'm checking that the hashes are the same, which then means that I have the same original data as you.